got our souvenir in Salton Sea State Park or recreation area. Today we are here in Salton Sea State Park. This is an accidental sea which was created in 1905. And it's very controversial because of what happened since the 50s and uh, the death of the fishes and all the creatures living in the water. Now let's go explore the history and the nature things about this place. Let's go! The Salton Sea is a shallow landlocked, highly saline body of water in Riverside and Imperial Counties at the southern end of the U.S. state of California. Starting with the park history, thousands of years ago, the Kahulia and other California Indians occupied these lands. Originally, the Salton Sink held a much larger body of water, the ancient Lake Kahulia. This huge freshwater lake full of fish and teeming with abundant wildlife covered the entire valley. As the lake shrank, the native people moved their villages down from the mountains and settled in the areas once covered by water. The Cahulia may have met Europeans in 1540 when Melchior Diaz explored the area for Hernan Cortes. Later, Juan Bautista de Anza crossed the Salton Sink looking for a trade route in 1774. By the 1850s, the Cahulia lands had been taken by new settlers and the indigenous people lost the resources they needed to survive. Finally, the introduction of diseases to which they had no immunity nearly decimated the Cahulia. Today, about 3,000 Kahulia descendants live on reservations administered by elected tribal councils. They revive their traditional ceremonies, languages, and crafts, and they are passing these skills on the future generations. So here is a replica of a Native American house or hut. Geological History Geologically, the Salton Sink is a complex of faults, hills, and ancient drainages, essentially a landlocked extension of the Gulf of California. It is the state's largest lake, approximately 35 miles long, 15 miles wide, and 235 feet below sea level. Unlike most lakes, it has no natural outlet flowing to the ocean. Whatever flows in, including agricultural runoff, does not flow out. Water is lost through evaporation and through percolation into the ground. The present body of water is only the latest of many lakes that have filled this basin over millions of years. The remains of both fresh water and sea creatures can be seen high in the surrounding hills and mountains. The Salton Sink Basin was originally part of the Gulf of California. Flowing from the Rocky Mountains to the Gulf, the Colorado River scored out the formations of Arizona's Grand Canyon. In wet times, the river will fill the sink, at other times it will bypass the sink, causing the lake to shrink or even to disappear. Sometimes the gulf waters will flow inland to meet the river, depositing salts, water, and silty sediment. Gradually, the deposits form a delta, southeast of the Salton Sink. The Accidental Sea During the late 1800s, the California Development Company or CDC envisioned an agricultural empire in the Colorado desert, but they needed water to irrigate the fields and orchards they planned. By 1901, the Colorado River had been tapped for this purpose. In two years, it was irrigating more than 100,000 acres in what was even called the Imperial Valley. However, CDC had not provided an effective method of dealing with irrigation runoff, silt buildup, or high water levels. 
In 1905, after an unusually wet winter, the Colorado River broke through a poorly constructed canal cut. For about 16 months, the river's entire volume poured unchecked into the nearest low spot, the Salton Sink. It watered entire communities, the main line of the Southern Pacific Railroad, the Torres Martinez Reservation, and the new Liverpool Salt Company that mined the pure salt deposits from beneath the lake. The Southern Pacific had rerouted 40 miles of track, but another flood season could jeopardize the new route. So in 1907, the railroad built a trestle and gathered tons of fill, matter, and boulders that they dumped into the stream bed. When the last loads were dumped, cars and all, the water subsided. By then, the lake had flooded nearly 350,000 acres. By the 1950s, the Salton Sea had become a popular resort area. Yacht clubs, large marinas, and a championship golf course attracted celebrities. But by the 1970s, recurring floods had marred the dream of a desert Eden. The Present Salton Sea the lake currently supports significant segments of many migratory bird populations that eat fish. Unfortunately, the sea's rising salinity threatens its vital importance to more than 400 bird species. With less than 3 inches of rainfall per year and limited fresh water inflow, the lake is now about 50% saltier than the ocean itself. The Salton Sea lacks any outlet with inflow from only a few sources, growing concentrations of salt have caused all but the hardy tilapia and desert puffish to stop reproducing. Fewer fish to provide food for the migrating birds could eventually mean fewer birds overall. Current Situation The Salton Sea presently supports a significant number of threatened or endangered bird population. With nearly 95% of California's wetlands converted to other uses, the sea is in a critical refuge for many declining species. Federal, state, tribal, and local entities as well as concerned interest groups and individuals are working together to try to save the Salton Sea. In 2003, the California Legislature passed the Salton Sea Restoration Act, directing the state to undertake the restoration of the Salton Sea ecosystem and the permanent protection of the wildlife dependent on that ecosystem. Recent budget allocations and grants from various sources have followed to help save this extraordinary resource. So now we are here at the Salton Sea State Recreation Area, which is a state park. It is visited by 30,000 people each year. This is how many people go to Salton Sea. The parking is almost empty. There is also a visitor center and a gift shop where you can learn more about the history of the Salton Sea and the area. There are plenty of things to do such as camping, picnicking, fishing, boating, water sports, kayaking, bird watching, and hiking the trails. Hope you guys enjoy our tour. Don't forget to hit like, share, and subscribe. Till next time, bye. So guys, if you like our videos, please subscribe to our channel. 
and feel free to comment.